Hello! Thank you so much for coming to this video. I really appreciate it. This is my Cardano weekly recap. I usually do these every Wednesday, sometimes Thursday. I just take all the information that you've missed in Cardano and I try to sum it up into kind of a 10 to 20 minute video, uh, depending on the day. This is gonna be an action packed one. There's a lot of really interesting information. I'm really excited to make this video today. We're gonna be going over a lot of cool stuff. Uh, so we have some speculation. Charles made a tweet uh, that kind of got a lot of people thinking. So we're gonna speculate a little bit. We're gonna look into that. Um, could be maybe the Africa special, native tokens. Could be a couple things we're going to be going into that we're also going to be talking about signal uh, the new app that everyone's using uh, maybe ada could be in there you know uh, they're looking for people so I'll, I'll get into it i'll need to get to it now also the um the big january update we're going to be going over a bit of decentralization uh, the staking wallets looking at some data uh, we're also going to be talking about the Plutus Playground, and the Plutus Playground is it's very, very important for Cardano. It's actually the language built uh, to build these smart contracts in Cardano and also build these, these dApps on top of Cardano. Um, just a lot, a lot of cool information in this video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, before we jump into that, if you want to support me, the best way you can do so is just by delegating to Bloom. We actually have Bloom through Bloom 6. Uh, we actually were the eighth block ever on Cardano Minute by Stake Pools. Uh, so we've been here from the beginning and we'll be here till your end. We pay kick ash returns and we have over 10 million ADA delegated or pledged to our pools to secure the network from civil attacks. It just shows we have some skin in the game. Uh, we also obviously want to increase those rewards. So, yep, Bloom through Bloom 6. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Um, also, we have a Discord server for any questions, any Cardano questions, any questions you have about anything. Join that Discord server down below it'll be in the comments and the description i also have um, an email uh, for consultation so if you guys are looking to set up your own stake pool feel free to email me at peyton at bloompool.io for consultations but yeah that's it let's jump into the video today guys oh we're also going to be going over a bunch of voltaire stuff i almost forgot uh, voltaire stuff so how much ada you need to vote uh, when you're going to vote the voting period uh, a lot of important voltaire cardano voting information so make sure you guys stay for that Okay, so this first tweet is from Charles Hoskinson, the co-founder of Ethereum, um, and he is giving us a little bit of juice today. He's, he's, getting, us, he's getting our speculation uh, going, our minds turning. A little bird landed on my shoulder and told me that February is going to be a really good month. Bird gossip is generally reliable. Um, so this is, this is, so what, what do you guys derive from this, right? So we, we've been told over and over again that native tokens are going to be coming to Cardano next month. So different assets in our wallets and our Daedalus and Uroi wallets, we're going to be able to have different assets in those wallets because of this merry hard fork that's coming next month. So he's stating that a little bird landed that gave him some more details that February is going to be a good month. So what I derived from this is that next month native tokens are coming because it was it was never a sure thing it was oh maybe they'll come next month maybe they'll come the month after uh, but to me this is saying native assets are a sure thing uh, some other people were speculating and you guys could maybe have this opinion too um, that maybe he's talking about the africa special you know the africa deal that we've all been waiting for uh, we were told about the africa special in early january uh, maybe an ethiopia deal or just some deal with a country there to kind of get the the africa part of cardano going so some people are speculating that that um, some people are speculating that uh, maybe even the smart contract functionality is coming soon. You know, um, people like to speculate, and that's why he did this tweet on purpose. But I'm going to go ahead and just give my opinion that it's confirmed native assets next month. You know, it could be a deal. You know, it could be somebody moving over to Cardano. You never know. Uh, it's all just pure speculation. But um, I really hope native tokens are here. You know, it's what we've been told. And I'm really, really excited for native tokens, you know, just to be able to hold other stuff in my wallet. It's going to be so, so cool. So the Signal app is an E2EE -E messaging app with 20 plus million active users, and they're looking to integrate crypto payments. So Signal's kind of like uh, the new encrypted app. You can call, you can text, and um, it, you have some security of that. You know, a lot of people migrated over there because of WhatsApp uh, and the new security issues with WhatsApp, um, but they're, they're looking to integrate crypto, right? So then Rick... Uh, we all love Rick from Digi. He said, hi there, Signal app. I'm a huge fan of Signal, and I heard you were looking to integrate crypto. I think Charles and the team at Input Output Global could help with the Cardano ADA integration. Engineering is top shelf. Research is second to none. I would love to see that. Um, I know Cardano is looking to do more, but I would like to just see basic integration sometimes. Like, um, I made a tweet a little while ago uh, that, so P-Hub, you know, where people collect their, their adult um, I can't really say the word, but you, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, they were actually denied visa payments. And so that means you couldn't buy anything on there, buy premium, whatever you wanted to buy on there, tip people. Uh, you couldn't buy that with premium. And they started accepting crypto. 
right? And I saw a bunch of cryptocurrencies on there like Verge, like just some random cryptocurrencies that no one even cares about. Um, or like Ethereum Classic was on there, which was just weird to me. Um, and I would like to see ADA just kind of more in the public eye on these random payment platforms. So maybe like Signal, maybe on P-Hub, you know, I just would like to see um, some of the basics, you know, I would just like to be able to pay with stuff, you know, so it'd be cool. I would like to see it in Signal and I would also like to see it um, kind of on these other websites and especially PayPal too, you know. So what do you guys think about that? So I do these live streams on my channel called Watch Parties and we usually tune into the Cardano development update and these are done from um, IOHK or IOG. They're pretty awesome. They go a lot of over a lot of technical stuff sometimes, so that's why I like to do the watch parties. I like to explain people what's happening. And essentially what it is, is we have these things that are about an hour or two hours long. I start 20 minutes earlier. We do a quick little AMA beforehand, you know, get hype, get the chat going. Um, I answer some questions, you know, we have a good time. So that's for about 20 minutes. Following that, uh, we actually watch it, you know, and what I do during the watch parties, I just stay in chat, I answer people's questions, you know, we kind of all talk together, talk about what we're seeing, following that for about another 20 minutes, once it's over, I come back on, I answer people's questions, and I go over what happened, you know, so it's just a little bit of a recap at the end. I have a lot of fun doing them, um, but you just guys have to let me know if you guys want to do this, so the next one's tomorrow, it's January 28th, and it says at 12.30 uh, p.m., um, so that's Eastern Standard Time. So what that would mean is I would get on about 12.10 p.m., uh, get the chat going, get everybody hype, and then following that, uh, we do the watch party. So if you guys want to see this, type watch party in chat. If you don't, then I won't do it, right? If this is something that you guys love, um, it gets kind of the community together and hyped, uh, then we'll keep doing it. Uh, but if not, then I won't do it. So if you guys want that, just type watch party down below. So I thought this personally was a really cool article. More than half of all Cardano wallets are now staking ADA. I mean, that's awesome. I would love this. I love to see it. You know, I mean, that shows that the incentive, you know, the incentive for staking, the rewards that you get um, is working. You know, we know incentive drives behavior, you know, and that's why we have these issues right now with pledge and um, some of that function. So we just we need to change the incentives so that works. But I'm really happy to see this because that shows that the incentives for staking and securing the network are working. And if we go over here and look at the actual total ADA staked, right now the live stake is 22.19 billion. And that's 69.7% of the ADA in the network. Pretty awesome, guys. Pretty awesome. What do you guys think about that? I'm happy to see it. 70% is a lot. I mean, that's much more than I would have thought for sure. So I'm not going to talk about this for too long. Uh, it's for one reason. It's because I've already done a video on it. I did a live stream on Monday about this, but I am going to go over it. It is the weekly recap. You know we can't forget it. So AGUSD, the, worst, the world's first algorithmic stablecoin implemented on a UTXO-based blockchain. And this is also firstly going to be in, implemented on Ergo. So this is a stablecoin, but it's an algorithmic stablecoin. It's not a stablecoin that's actually backed by a dollar. It's going to be backed by other assets inside of a smart contract. And this is first going to be on the Ergo blockchain, but it's going to be on the Cardano blockchain as well. And I have this little design schema. I go over this, how it works in that live stream. So what you guys need to do to watch that is just come over right here. Um, it's it was streamed one day ago, Cardano's first stablecoin tied to USD, age USD on the blockchain. I go over step by step at the beginning of it, um, kind of what's happening, but it's it's to being developed by Emergo um, on Ergo, and they're using the Ergo blockchain because it's UTXO based to test out the functionality of this stablecoin. There's a lot of use cases for stablecoins, so I'm not going to go into that today, but really happy to see this being done. It's also nice they can use the Ergo blockchain as a way to use these smart contracts, design them, play with them, mess around with them before they can be ported over to the Cardano blockchain. So really cool. Let me know what you guys think. So Project Catalyst. What's going on? What is it? So I go over this usually every week. Um, so Project Catalyst is Cardano's Voltaire. It's the voting aspect of Cardano. And what it is right now is it's a way to vote on people's projects, on their proposals. You know, we're not voting on parameters yet. We're not voting on people that really work on the blockchain. We're voting for specifically for people that are submitting proposals for a DAP, for a podcast, for anything. And we use our ADA to vote. And this is kind of the dates, you know, the, the guideline. I'm going to have videos on my channel for each of these dates on how to vote, how to register every step of the way. So make sure you guys just subscribe, click that notification bell as always. So the dates, what's going on? Governance timeline. So register proposals plus voters. This is February 17th. 
So voting committee published top proposals. Voters registered by depositing ADA. Um, so this is this is instant. Um, and then that's on the 17th. So that's when this all starts. So the snapshot. Snapshots are very, very important, right? We have to register the voters. This is important. So make sure you guys are tuning in February 17 to make sure this happens. You cannot miss that date. Following that this is the snapshot. So what you do essentially is you register the wallet. Now let's say that wallet has 10,000 ADA in it. Well, you register it this day. And then the snapshot is the amount of ADA that you give votes. So that's March 3rd. So if you send another 10,000 ADA in there on that snapshot, if you have the 20,000 ADA, you'll have 20,000 votes instead of just 10. That's how the snapshot works. And then finally, on the March 5th, we have voting. So voter vote on proposals using a mobile app. That's going to be project, the little project catalyst app we have. The voting period is going to be really long this time, 21 days. Um, and then it's from till the 24th. And then the tallying, this is the vote tallying phase. That's going to be three days long. Um, that's going to be from the 21st to April, April 2nd. So as always, take these, these dates with a grain of salt. Make sure you just stay in tune with my channel uh, or the town hall videos or the Project Catalyst stuff because these dates get, they get thrown around all the time. I mean, sometimes by a month, sometimes by three months. You know, you never know with these dates. So be very careful. Don't follow these uh, to a T. Uh, also, another thing that's really cool I thought you guys might like for people that are a little new to ADA, they don't have too much ADA, uh, the voting threshold has now been reduced from 8,000 to 3,000. So now you only need 3,000 ADA to vote instead of 8,000. Very, very cool. Happy to see it. So IOG has announced the pools that they're delegating to. So congratulations to the 100 community pools. And they're going to be delegated 3.2 million ADA, which I think this is huge. It's such an awesome thing, man. For these pools, I have to admit, you're lucky. Uh, it's, it's awesome, man. I'm really happy for you. Because that 3.2 million, what that does is it makes it so you get a block every epoch. So that means any delegates... Uh, will receive rewards every five days and it's very very important you have that to kind of build a loyal customer base you know to to build um, kind of a loyal brand with these delegates because people like to see the rewards come every week even if it's the same amount every other week right so very happy that you guys get this because they get it for three months and that means you have three months of consistent blocks um, and there's a lot of pulls on here that i know uh, that, that i've seen you know i've seen many of these um I mean, for example, uh, Brave, Rocky, uh, Hotel, Husky. I I've seen so many of these, so I'm real happy for you guys. I just kind of wanted to kind of say what they're doing. Um, so 3.2 times that by 100, that's 320 million ADA uh, they're delegating. Uh, and then the rest is going to be pledged to private pools would be my guess because they're going to earn a lot more rewards that way. So also dead. So there's a lot of cool pools in here. Really happy for you guys. Uh, really happy to see IOG doing this. You know, it's I think the smaller delegation uh, versus CF's large and short delegation. And this is the way to go, in my opinion. So, yeah, really cool. So the Plutus Playground. So what is Plutus? Plutus is actually the language that the best... Introducing the new Plutus Playground. So what is the Plutus Playground? Well, Plutus is essentially the smart contracting language for Cardano. And so it's based on Haskell. They essentially took Haskell and specialized it in a way that it can be written uh, with smart contracts on Cardano. So there are multi, multiple different languages that you can actually use to build these contracts on Cardano, but right now uh, it's going to be three big ones. It's going to be Plutus, Marlowe, and the stuff that comes from the EVM testnet, which is currently only Solidity. Right. So why is this important? Because you're actually giving developers that have different um, tools, uh, different ways to to write these smart contracts. So by using the EVM testnet, uh, you're actually allowing them to use Solidity, all their old tools for that. But Plutus, because it's a specialized version made specifically for Cardano, um, made with all of the UTXO, uh, all of the design of Cardano in mind, it is going to be the best way to write these smart contracts. And the Plutus Playground is essentially the tool that you use to write that, right? Um, so if, you're, if you've done any programs before, uh, you'll use like, for example, Visual Studio Code. You know, you use essentially something that will run your code, that'll test some things. So Plutus Playground is just the place where you can write your code. Um, and they did a complete rework, and I'm happy to see this because they're actually giving people the ability to get on here and test it. I'm going to have this link down below if you guys have been looking for this. 
um, because we do need people to test this stuff. You know, the Plutus Playground is really important. Uh, the more bugs you find in here, the better. Uh, the more that we can add value just by using these products, um, the better. You know, so obviously, as you can see, it's uh, it's in Haskell. Uh, you know, it's not really the imperative language that we're used to. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really cool. I'm excited to see uh, the updates coming out on this because as far as I know, I think it's easier right now uh, to use Solidity for smart contracts uh, than it is actually to use Plutus. Um, so yeah, yeah. And then I also want to touch on Marlowe a little bit. Uh, so Marlowe is actually another language that you can use to write these smart contracts, but it's for people that don't have a programming background. It's for people that kind of maybe have a finance background. It's very simple. It just looks like puzzle pieces. And you essentially just connect those puzzle pieces and it'll say like, um, this puzzle will say like X equals this, right? And then this puzzle piece will say like if X, then this, and then you just kind of connect them all together. And it's, it's really simple. Um, it's kind of like how programming works and you use the same logic, but it's like a much more dumbed down version. You know, it's just to give more people the ability to actually write these smart contracts, um, for the blockchain, you know, cause that is important, you know, ease of use also users and, um, and builders, you know, so yeah. But that is the video this week. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, please, if you made it till the end, type in Plutus Playground in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, please click that like button. Uh, I really do appreciate you staying until the end. I think that's the best thing for the algorithm. Um, and it also means you, you guys enjoy the video, man. And that's even better than the algorithm liking me. You know, it's um, I really do appreciate all the support you guys give me. But yeah, that's it. If you guys want to see that watch party, also type in watch party down below. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow. So I may see you tomorrow. But if you guys don't want it, just type in no. We don't want to do it. We'll just wait for the big, the good ones. So watch parties can kind of be this nice, this nice new thing that we do every once in a while. So yeah, a lot of good stuff coming. Got a lot of videos coming, but I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.